it, in regards to Amber, do you feel like there was at least a part of their relationship that was authentic at first? Or do you think she went into it? Because I know they met on a movie set. Do you think she went into it knowing she wanted to get a famous A-list actor to help her career? Because I've heard reports and watching the trial and watching her specifically in court and all the different things she did, interactions with the lawyers, you know, whatnot, the police officers. It, it very seems to me like she's very calculated. So I didn't know, like, do you think it was something that was set up beforehand? I mean, it seems like that maybe she knew things about him, knew his favorite books, all these things in order to kind of like seduce him in a way. What, what do you feel about that? Um, obviously I want to tread. It doesn't sound like I want to tread lightly with some of the things I've said already. So <laughs> I do want to, I do want to, your question is, is another great question. U ultimately, um, I think there are people, and there are people that are obsessed with fame and money in Hollywood. And there are people that, that move out here and they want this thing and they see it as a validation and they see it, you know, this is obviously was, was a beautiful, attractive woman. And th this, this town is, you know, a breeding ground for that people getting off the bus and the plane and everything every day, you know, seeking this thing. And ultimately I had heard a lot of negative things from actors, directors, people in town, someone that was very close to her ex-person, Tasha Van Rie, who was a very close friend of mine, and Johnny's to actually, who was like warning me. Like I had heard a lot of negative stuff. So I'm not skirting your question, but what I am going to say is before I ever met her, I had heard a lot of negative things. And I, you know, that's just fact. Um, true or not, I'm not saying. I'm just saying I heard a lot. And I know a lot of people. And she was never nice to me. And, you know, ultimately, when you meet your partner's close friends, fake it. I know she faked it with the mother. Mm -hmm. she, made, she made cookies every day for a while. I just heard this story recently. And I didn't know it. Right out the gate, she was showing up at Betty Sue's and making cookies and doing this and that. And that stopped real quickly. And Betty Sue was no joke. And she was like, ah, you know, she, she was. Very... And so, you know, your question, like I said, I, I, I want to tread lightly, I guess, because I can't tell you what somebody's motivations were. Yeah. But I do know the archetype. And I do know what I heard. And I do know what my own experience was. And she was never nice to me. And she was never kind to me because I represent a part of Los Angeles where it's like, that's Josh. He's the mayor. He knows everyone. Well, if I know everyone, then I'm not good for your plan, am I? Yeah, you're a threat. And, and, and in turn, she was unkind. She was never warm. She was never inviting, never welcoming. She moved him downtown. She surrounded him with all her sycophants. And the truth is that I think your answer bears out in what you've been presented with. You know, there was all that. There, we always joked about it, even when they were together, how she says she's never seen any of his movies. So what would you think if that specific person tells this specific partner that she's never seen any of his movies? What would you think? That's a lie. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> and then there's been stuff that I've seen. In, there's been little bits of press here and there where people speaking out, and I'm not going to tell you the validity of them. I don't know. But people that were like, her walls in her bedroom when she was young were papered with his image. Mm. Mm. That's out there. You can probably Google it and find it. So I, I don't know. I'm, you know. Without answering your question directly, you guys saw the facts. You guys saw the stuff. What do you think? I mean, you, you heard that maniacal laugh. You heard the, oh, tell him, oh, tell him. You heard all that stuff. Oh, really? Oh, really? What does that tell you? I don't, I don't know. It tells me that like somebody wasn't getting what they wanted. Yeah. And they did. And, and not to mention, and this is not to, you know, raise up the ire of everyone in their pansexuality in the world, but her last partner was a woman. So all of a sudden now she likes, you know, guys in their fifties. I don't yeah. know. That's a good point. Can I?